Hi learners! In our previous video lesson, we learned about distance and displacement. If you haven't watched it yet, you can pause this video and watch that one first to better understand our new topic today. So if you are ready, let's get started. In our previous video lesson, we learned that distance is a scalar quantity which means it is a measurement that has magnitude but without direction. On the other hand, displacement is a vector quantity and that means it is a measurement that tells both magnitude and direction. So today, we will learn another type of scalar and vector quantities, speed and velocity. Since motion is a change in position, we have a lot of questions about it. For example, how fast an object traveled? Where is it going? How would we know if the moving car is slowing down or speeding up? Or is it moving steadily? Or is there any change in direction? Hmm, let's find out together the answer to these questions. To start with, let's define speed. Speed measures how fast or slow a something can travel, whether it is a person or an object. In this way, it is considered as scalar quantity, which means you only measure its magnitude only. There are two types of speed, the average speed and instantaneous speed. Average speed of the object is the total distance traveled by the object divided by the elapsed time. For example, a car traveled 50 km in one hour. Or an airplane traveled 500 km in one hour. So it explains that it is the rate at which total distance varies with the total time taken. If you have noticed, distance is involved in solving the speed of a moving object. Hence, both of them are scalar quantity. Based on what we stated, the average speed can be calculated using this formula. Average speed is equals to the total distance over or divided by the total time. Another type of speed is the instantaneous speed. From its root word, instant, it is a speed at an instant or at a point on the path. For example, when you travel by car, you can look at the speedometer marking the speed in every moment of time. The speed varies quickly depending on how fast you are driving. That is instantaneous speed. It tells the rate of change in distance and of an object with respect to time. Now, let's head in to velocity. Let's make it simple. Velocity is the speed of an object but with direction. Since magnitude and direction are involved, that means velocity is a vector quantity, same as displacement. Since it is a vector quantity, average velocity therefore can be calculated as average velocity is equals to displacement over the total time, or you can write it this way. For example, we will calculate the average velocity of this car. To find the average velocity, we will use this formula. Average velocity is equals to displacement over total time. To get the average velocity, we need to find out the displacement of the car traveled. And how we get the displacement? We should simply know the difference between the final point and initial point. So here, the final point is 60 km minus the initial point which is 0, making it 60 km. And the direction is going to the west. Now we have the displacement which is 60 km to west. 
Next is we have to get the total time. Here, we will just add up the time from the initial point to endpoint. That gives us 2 hours. We can now calculate the average velocity. So average velocity is equals to the displacement which is 60 kilometers to west divided by the time which is 2 hours. And the final answer is 30 and the unit is kilometer per hour. So the total answer is 30 kilometer per hour going to the west. Again, we write the direction because velocity is vector quantity. It measures the magnitude with direction. So we can now define that average velocity is the distance traveled in a particular direction over a period of time. If there's an average velocity, there is instantaneous velocity. It refers on how fast or slow an object is moving at a given instant and in what direction. If you are riding a car, you can estimate it using speedometer and a compass. Now, are you ready for a sample problem? Alright, here's the first one. It took 3 hours for a car to travel a distance of 160 km. What its average speed? So the question here is, what its average speed? So in physics, you have to solve it in a proper way. First, write the given. Second, the unknown or being asked. Third, the formula to be used. Next is the solution and lastly, the correct answer or the complete answer. So the given R, the total time, which is 3 Rs, distance, which is 160 km. The average speed is the unknown or what we need to find. The formula that we are going to use here is the average speed is equals to distance over or divided by the time. For the solution, we will simply change it with value. So distance is 160 km and displacement is 3 hours. So we divide them and the average speed is 53.33 km per hour. And that's the final answer. Alright, here's another sample problem. Aaron drives his car with the average speed of 15 km per hour along the boulevard. How long will it take him to drive 60 km on a straight road? The question in the sample problem is, how long will it take him? That means we need to find the time. So to know the formula of time in this problem, we have to derive the formula average speed is equal to distance over time to come up with a new formula for time. So to start, we need to multiply both side with time and canceling out both time to get the formula for distance. And now, what about the time? The formula we are looking for. So finally, we need to derive again this formula. Let's divide both sides with the speed and then canceling out both speed. Now we get the time. So the formula would be time is equal to distance over speed. Now we have the formula for speed, distance, and time. But for this sample problem, we will use the formula for time. First, the given which are 50 km per hour, the average speed, and 60 km which is the distance. Now the unknown is time. Let's write the formula for time. Time is equal to distance over speed. So for the solution, just change it with the value. So time is equal to 60 km divided by the 15 km per hour. So let's cancel out the same unit. So the final answer of the time is 4 hours. Now here's another sample problem for velocity. 
A train travels north at average velocity of 120 km per hour for a total time of 1.5 hour. What is the total displacement of the train? So let's derive the formula of velocity is equals to displacement over time to get the formula of the displacement. So what we have to do is the same to what we did earlier to come up for the formula for displacement and time. So here's the formula to get the displacement. So to solve the problem, first write the given. So the given here are average velocity 120 km per hour and then the time which is 1.5 r. So the unknown or we need to find is the displacement. So the formula for the displacement is displacement is equals to velocity or the average velocity multiply to the time. So let's change it with the value for the solution. So let's cancel out both unit, cancel both r. So we only now have kilometer. 120 kilometer divided by 1. The final answer or the displacement is 180 km to north. Now, can you solve the time? Comment your answer below to check your answer. Alright, that's all for today. Next time, the video lesson will be all about the acceleration. See you in our next video lesson. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon for more videos like this. Bye everyone and have a great day.